Hey, welcome to the Small Business Made Simple podcast, brought to you by socialmediaandmarketing.com.au. Being in business is never easy, but it can be simple, or at least simpler. Join me, your host Jen Donovan, every week where we focus on marketing, social media and working towards simplifying your business. You with me? Let's do this. Gonna dream it, dream it, beat the someone out there listening. Everyone's got a voice to give and it's time I heard you whistling cause there's no point at all. Oh, oh, oh. And dream and small. Why, hey there, my fabulous listener. Welcome to the final episode of 2022, which is episode 223 of the Small Business Made Simple podcast. Today, we are saying see you later, alligator, to 2022. Thank you for lending me your ears today. I know you have lots of choices out there and I really do appreciate you making me one of them. If you are enjoying this podcast and I would love for you to take a screenshot and share it on your socials and tag me. That would be super cool to get to know you a little bit as well. You can find the show notes for this particular podcast episode at all the W's, socialmediaandmarketing.com.au slash 223. Now, just before I get into this quick, short, sharp, episode, last one for 2022, um, I just wanted to let you know that remember how I, a few weeks ago or a few months ago, I asked you to fill in a survey for the big small business survey. Well, the results are in and they are really quite astounding. Some of the things that we found out about small business owners and all aspects of business. And we've actually given a preliminary report of the results that you can actually download and have a bit of a read through yourself. You can find it at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash survey report 2022. No pressure, just thought if you filled it in and you're keen, although if you filled it in, you would have got an email from us. But if you're keen to see um, all about small business heading into 2023, you can certainly go and have a look at that report. Again, that link will be in the show notes at socialmediaandmarketing.com.au slash 223. If you're listening to this podcast in real time, then the end is nigh. Not the end of the world, just the end of 2022. The final days are definitely playing out for us. I hope you had an amazing uh, family Christmas. Um, I hope it was wonderful. And, of course, with my family now, we front up to a few birthdays, including my eldest son, before New Year hits. So the festive season just keeps going and going in my house. Traditionally, this podcast isn't a long podcast episode, and I intend to keep that tradition going. So if you're either too busy or too relaxed right now, don't worry, we will be finished in a jiffy. And again, traditionally, I normally choose a saying to chat briefly about um, to see the year out. And this year, I've chosen a an oldie but a goodie. The saying I have chosen, which um, I live my life by, is you can have excuses or results, not both, but it's your choice. I think this is one thing that we seriously need to carry into 2023. It's not going to be all roses and butterflies next year. Um, It's going to be rough economically. Consumer confidence will be down and the cost of living will be up. But you can either use all those things and use them as excuses for not getting the results that you want in your business or you can change, pivot, invest in yourself, invest in platforms, learn more, do more strategic things, do less of what isn't working now and do more of what is working now and get results. I run a multi-million dollar e-commerce platform that consists of a community of a few hundred thousand people and I can tell you that the most successful businesses on that platform do not blame the platform for no sales or admin for no sales or Facebook for no sales or the economy for no sales. They dig in They pivot, they change, they learn what they can, they collaborate, they partner up with other small businesses, they mix things up and they do get results no matter how tough it is. So when you look back at your results for 2022, do you make excuses for those results? Blame others? Blame your tools? Or do you go, you know what, I got the results for the energy that I put in? Look, if you do blame others and tools, then that's okay because like I said, you can have excuses or results. You can't have both, but it is your choice. So if you choose to have that, then that is your choice. 
But I can tell you the people who don't are the people that are actually very successful in their small businesses. Now, my suggestion is you come to the show notes at socialmediamarketing.com.au slash 223 and click the downloadable link for a quote graphic with this quote on it. The, you know, you can have um, excuses or results, not both, your choice. I've done a little Canva graphic up because I think that that would be a really good mantra for you to take into 2023. Um, you can put it on your home screen or you can print it out or you could um, put it on your phone so you look at it, uh, whatever you would like to do. And the actual Canva graphic you can actually make into your brand colors as well if you decide to do that. So my amazing listener, you can have results or you can have excuses You can't have both, but it is your choice. So I really hope that you embrace that heading into 2023, whatever the amazing year holds for us. So happy new year, my friend. This is the last one before we break for the, um, well, we're not really breaking, but before the new year, we'll see us in. Um, Thank you for supporting my podcast and listening in. As a new year's gift, if you would love to give me one that I would love for you to leave a rating and review, if that's possible, where you are listening to this podcast, such as Apple Podcasts. That would really make my end of year extra, extra special. But otherwise, I'll see you on the other side. Big podcasting love. And remember my small business peep, as my opening song says, there is no point in dreaming small. No time like the present. Tell I can feel it, say it proud, be true and let us see you for the star that you are. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Yorta Yorta people, on which I record this podcast and conduct my business today and pay my respects to their elders past and present. I extend this respect to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here with us today as well.